This video probably won't be terribly exciting. Uh, I figured since I haven't really been doing a lot lately, uh, since we're in the, the Singapore circuit breaker um, right now, that I would show you what we are doing, which isn't a lot. So uh, we got a, we're at the weekend here, so we're probably just gonna be hanging out, doing meals, I don't know, maybe watching a movie. It's gonna be low key, but uh, because I'm committed to updating you on what we're doing, I thought I'd update you on what we're doing, which isn't a lot. So here's not a lot coming at you. No, so if, if, the, if the company makes you lie for them, you don't want to work for them. So I think you made the right call there. Yeah, you too. Love yeah. you. Take care. And we will chat again soon. Playing a little GameCube game from 2002 that's been ported to the Switch, Resident Evil Zero. It hasn't aged well. Next up on Circuit Breaker Weekend with the Singapore Expat is lunch. And here is one of my favorites, a uh, Mi Gurgen hot and spicy noodle pack. And this is quite a bit different than a noodle pack that you would get in the U.S. So why don't I show you? Yeah, so today we're making noodles for lunch, and uh, you can see it's it looks very similar to a ramen noodle you'd get in the U.S., but then look at these awesome flavor packets. We've got three packets here. These are some fried onion crunchies, um, some kind of sauce, and then some spicy pepper sauce, but that's not all. The packet also comes with some powder, and uh, it's pretty impressive. Um, my wife's doing... Mine's only got one packet. One packet, so that's a little bit more standard. It's, it's just chicken. That's the chicken noodle. And uh, chi chicken noodle's good, but it's not hot and spicy. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, gotta please the audience. I love it. <laughs> okay, I'll start mixing this up. Look at that. I've got all my toppings in that bowl. That is a lot of seasoning. Uh, and as soon as my water gets boiling, I'll just put that in. But I'm a guy that likes his noodles a little on the dry side. I don't have a lot of water in there. So I like to cook my noodles, throw the noodles in there, not have a lot of extra water, and just savor all that delicious seasoning. Mmm, delicious noodle goodness, boiling, getting ready. Oh, forgive me for all this noodle video, but uh, I do enjoy a good noodle lunch. So Heather, what's the secret to noodles for you? Mm, the right amount of water. Yeah, so you put in, uh, I just I'm saw you, I, I missed it, you got a little bit of soupiness in there. Yeah. yeah. You like yeah. it a little on the soupy side? I like it dry where I'm like... <laughs> I've got nice and dry, There's, you can see the, the flavorings in there, nice and dry. Mm. And of course, what better way to enjoy lunch than in front of the TV? watching a show, checking it on out uh, as we eat. Next up on weekend here in lockdown, well, we've got a nice uh, FNN Sarsi. That's a sarsaparilla, and, or otherwise known in the States as root beer. And then pairing that with a little bit of the return of the Obradin, which is a mystery game that Heather and I have been playing together. I've been controlling and we've both been solving the murders and mysterious deaths of those aboard the Obradin. Um, so that's been a, a cool way to hang out at home here. So cheers. Tonight is homemade pizza night and we have the this pizza crust and the pizza crust it's Mission Pizza Crust and Mission at least in the US is known for making tortillas and wouldn't you know it it sure looks like this pizza crust is a tortilla. And then um, we have some sausage. We got some Chinese sausages. Look at that beauty. There it is in all of its sausage, cheese, and green pepper glory. Wow. Mmm. Pizza cam. So the next thing for today is going out to get some exercise. Oh, by the way, today is actually the next day. So last night we had that pizza, which is fantastic. And now I'm doing what I can to get some exercise. Uh, you can see I'm out here alone. Uh, Heather, my wife, she wasn't able to come with me. Um, she's out walking as well, but 
we have to walk separately because of the whole circuit breaker. Even people that live in the same household aren't allowed to hang out together outside. You have to go alone. So that is a major bummer, but here we are. Well, we are back to playing the Return of the Oberdin today. Um, we just solved all of the initial round of clues and fates and all of that. And uh, what do you think? How are you liking the game so far, Heather? It's pretty decent. It's a uh... It's good. It's a good mystery, but it's a little hard to identify all the people, but it's fun. It's been fun to accomplish it. We've never really played a game before together. No, the this first is our time. first game. Other than trivia games. It, it took getting locked into our apartment for a couple months for you to play a game with me. You must be really desperate. I am. <laughs> Rolling credits. We did it. Congratulations, Yay! Heather. High five. Yeah! We beat a game together. Our first game we beat together. That's really cool. Really exciting. I'm excited. You did awesome. I'm really proud of you. <laughs> Great collaboration. She was taking notes on the laptop, and we were doing some troubleshooting and logical reasoning, and it all worked out. Success! And now, here we are. The height of excitement. The big finale for the weekend. KFC. Um, we went out, got some KFC, brought it back. Yeah, coupon. Had a coupon for a free Zinger sandwich, which was pretty fantastic. And all this, so we got this for $6.75. Not too shabby. I'm happy. Are you happy? I'm happy. 